What's up, what's up, Virgo? Let's go ahead and get into this reading. Welcome to your reading. Let's start off with a couple of deep breaths as they pull up an affirmation for us. Virgo, we appreciate you. We love you deeply. I want to add that and would like to let you know that you are seen and heard and appreciated and even in times when you don't feel like you're seen and you're heard they're listening oh they're listening they're listening but they just don't accept it and won't accept it and has not yet accepted it if that makes any sense virgo when we hear a virgo's perspective on things and when we hear virgo's insight on things it is very big and large and profound and it takes a minute for some people to get into that perspective to get into that insight to really look into it sometimes virgo when you um, give a perspective and you give a bigger insight it does trigger some people it shakes something up inside of them and it will make that transition it will make that shift they may not say it to you but you make a very impactful shift on people's mind people's mindset people's way of um, looking at the world and what it is like the world isn't actually what it is what we think of it is actually what it is right Virgos, you have also been experiencing long pauses for yourself. There has been a lot of heavy shift. And then this is where you find yourself to speak to yourself and affirm to yourself. I can shift my mindset and I don't have to stay and focus on these heavy emotions if I don't want to. I'm picking up that we may have a tendency to stay too long on, an, on a heavy emotion when it does come up. These are our tower moments, Virgo, and I too have been getting it myself. I am a Virgo sun. I also would like to add, my name is Kimberly and I go by Kimber. If you are new here, welcome. I just go right into it because I don't want to miss a thing. If you are a returning sub, welcome back and thank you for tuning in. Loving the comments and the love and the support here on this channel, you guys. I really appreciate, appreciate it. You have no idea. Jumping back to what I was saying, Virgos, you are experiencing tower moments. It could be that collectively we are experiencing a lot of these tower moments. Knowing where you are with yourself and focusing on your emotions at this time. We have a tendency to stay at an emotion for way too long. And it's like... It takes us down. Sometimes being at a level where the world's condition is at. Okay. Some affirmations here. I have, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Which is also our Virgo's weakness. Right? I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others self-esteem i'm getting that there is so much love in the air i feel that that is correlated to where you are 
with yourself, where you are with your mission, where you are with, I'm getting also career, but where you are with your passions, Virgo, and, and where you are putting all of that energy into. So for instance, that if you, if you are at a job that you may not find yourself to be comfortable in and you're slowly finding yourself there and not feeling comfort not feeling so comfortable I feel that that is where you shift and then you go in and you reflect and you say where do I go with this okay because this correlates with your your confidence right how you are showing up in the world and how you are also showing up for yourself in your career and your mission, your purpose. What is the very thing that Virgo, I'm speaking to somebody here. How would you like, how are you going to shift from the job that you are at to a place where you are most comfortable in? I believe that when we focus in on the passion part. I know and you will get there to a, to a place where you're able to just sit or stand or walk and know that the work at hand, the work that you are doing is exactly where you want to be as long as you're rooted in the passion. Okay, this is, I'm talking to some Virgos here. Because a lot of that self-esteem will go up. I also believe that this too correlates with your relationships. Because when you are feeling good about your career, Virgo, when you are feeling good about where you are with yourself, when you are feeling good about where you are with your career, when you know you are in a place of abundance, and you have placed yourself in abundance, you feel great. Which means it's okay to date. <laughs> Which means you are allowing yourself to date, allowing yourself to be more in love and not to be so scared of being in love and not so scared to be not so scared to step out there and you know try again and date and see people and have an adventure when a virgo is feeling completely good about themselves they too are allowing themselves to feel love again it's like for the first time in how many years okay for some of you virgos you are at this time really knowing where you are with yourself and really sticking to your faith. And this is getting a lot stronger is what I'm getting. I can release my need to control. Some of you guys are in waiting, whatever that means. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. There is a lot of growth here that I'm seeing that I'm also feeling strongly. A lot of these shifts that you are feeling, you're, you're finding yourself, Virgo, taking a long pause and quieting your mind, right? In airy season, you're, you're taking a long pause and you're finding yourself to just sit there. It's almost like you are stuck, right? But it, it is more listening in to what your body is telling you, but you look stuck, like you're just sitting there and you're staring off a, somewhere. But it is getting in to what your emotions are telling you because this is important for a Virgo. Maybe they are one to, maybe you are one sitting there and 
detecting where your emotions is going or where it is coming from. So you have, you're having moments of drifting off and taking a long pause, quieting your mind, and then you're staying there. What I am reminded to tell you, do not dwell on these emotions. I feel heavy on when you dwell, you are putting yourself in the shadow of things, not just your shadow Virgo, but take this as it, take this as it resonates, not just your shadow, but you're dwelling on the shadow aspect of things and people. It is um, a, sh a mind set that you're putting yourself in knowing and reminding you not to dwell in it when you're drifting off and then shift your minds your minds um, shift your perspective and then come back to now 11 11 on the timestamp come back to now to the here and now and then work from there Aries season for our Virgos, I'm getting that it can very much get us to a place. It, it, it is taking us to a place where we're feeling all of the emotions, right? A lot of it. But perhaps a lot of it too are good emotions. Right? You're looking... For some of us, we're looking at the past and then we're going, oh, that's nice. And then moving on. It isn't the reaction that you used to react. It isn't the reaction that you used to react on. I don't know if I'm making sense. Like when you think about the past, now you, you have a very light-hearted feeling about it it's not so dark anymore right you still may find yourself coming back to your old thinking patterns so this is what i mean by don't dwell and focus too much on it because it will spot it will make you spiral down and then stay there I am reminded to tell you that when you have drifted off, don't dwell too much in it. I think that Virgos just have such a very critical mind sometimes. Um, you, 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 like you can go forever detecting, investigating and a thought and an emotion and you're going into depth. <laughs> but you can also get lost in the shadow aspect of things, Virgo. So I am reminded to tell you to surrender that. Because you don't need it. You know? Like you just get caught up in an emotion, in a thought. Your mind can also be very critical. Shift. Right? This is also of significance in Aries season, the balance. Finding the balance in everything. Knowing where you are with yourself when you have these tower moments and ask yourself collective, why is this tower moment happening for me? So for some of us, life is great. Right? It is so great. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden something happens and then there is a delay again and then there is um, something distressing you again, you know? It's knowing where you are with yourself and focusing on your emotions when you are having these tower moments is to be reminded, okay? You are also one to be honoring your body at this time. Right, Coming back to what I was saying about the self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. You are being tested 
with your self-esteem and where you are with your confidence, but most importantly, where you are with your faith holding on to your confidence. I do believe that your confidence, especially I feel like for our Virgos, your confidence and your self-esteem is rooted and deeply rooted in the faith that you are holding on to. Okay, let's get into some tarot. For some of us, I have the King of Cups bottom of the deck. For some of us, you are stepping out of an unhealthy relationship, whatever this may be for you in your life, however you want to define it. But this is what I'm getting is that you have now completely or trying to completely um, remove yourself from this situation, from this person. I'm getting a male masculine, okay? So flip it however it is in your life a male masculine here, you are removing yourself from. I'm getting that this has been a long situation that you have been in and you are also want, wanting to just, um, it's just, just not serving you anymore. So that's something that you also maybe have been dwelling on, you know, it's never easy sometimes to let something go when you have invested so much of your time and your energy just to find out in the end that you're just going to get dis disappointed. That's the situation at hand here. Okay. But as you are Virgo, and let me remind you that when you continue to honor your body and to continue to go in and choose yourself, you ever notice that? Every time you choose yourself, something good happens to you. Every time you choose yourself, something good happens. And it's intentional. We all know how Virgos are with their, in, with their intentions, right? You are one to put things into perspective. And you are also very intentional on the things that you do, Virgo. So in this case... While you are surrendering this situation that you have been in and you're just kind of like, it has been a big disappointment. While you are removing yourself from that, here you are stepping into, again, coming back to what I was saying about you're out there and you're dating again and you're finding yourself to be interacting with people again. You're finding yourself to be more comfortable with yourself, okay? confidence you're finding yourself to be more um in expansion and growing and you just keep on growing i'm getting this is this is your heart okay i feel like um i'm going back to the reading that i did in pisces season if if you guys want to go back to it it's the heart chakra activate, activation uh, Virgo reading. And in the reading, I do remember saying that a lot of us are <clears throat> really wanting to settle down, really wanting to find your person, right? Um, I believe that I had mentioned something about that. In this season, I feel that for some of you, it's the start of a new fresh relationship and I'm talking about romantic relationship I'm talking about your person your best friend somebody that you are wanting to marry and thinking about marrying and thinking about being with for the rest of your life this I'm talking about commitments and a lifetime commitment this is marriage this is also children and Virgo, you may be finding yourself to also um, a sense of completion when it comes to healing your inner child. Okay, take that as it resonates for some of you. You are feeling that. It's um, satisfying every part of what your teenage self. It, it's, it's satisfying every part of your teenage self that... Um, you didn't, that you weren't, that you couldn't be, 
in your childhood, in your teenage years. You're finding yourself to be satisfying every part of your teenage self. So remember who you were at like 12 or 13. Okay, picture that self. Picture yourself at that age, 12, 13 years old. You are now in the season finding yourself satisfying every part of that teenage self. And you're completing healing your, your inner child in that way, in that order. You're finding yourself to be more in order, Virgo. Not that you were never ever in order, but I'm saying in some, in some circumstances, perhaps when it comes to love and giving love to somebody, it has been quite difficult because there has been perhaps a lot of attachments from the past that is not letting you go. You're not the problem, Virgo. I'm pretty sure you're not. <laughs> and if you are the problem, I don't know what to tell you, but children, some of you guys are talking children. Some of you guys are talking marriage. You have already talked about it to your partner. You're, you are on this new journey together, okay? You are, as you are also talking about having children to your partner, you are also expressing yourself, the importance of expression, the importance of expression to your partner, Virgo, is so is such a priority and for everybody as well. But since we are in the topic, Virgo, how the importance of expression to you is so important and so vital because your mind is infinite and what I mean by that is that your mind can go in different places from contradictions to critical being critical from going to from going all the way down and spiraling all the way up and then going back down the importance of expression to you to your partner is vital Because you may find yourself in your mind like you just stepped into a time machine. Does that make sense? And you're going past, present, future, past, present, future. Your partner needs to know where you are with your mind. Knowing where you are with your mind and coming back to the here and now and then going from there. And... And in the book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, he mentioned something about relationships where the best time to get to know each other is through meditation. Sometimes you've got to have the meditation. And in meditation, are you both understanding each other more? Right? Because there is no judgment, there is no criticism, there is no labeling. It is a means of understanding each other's mind, understanding each other's um, journey at this point. In this case, it has been about the journey. But for you, Virgo, it probably is about where you have been with your heart where you also have been in terms of creating a solid foundation for security. And for some of, some of our Virgos, I'm picking up that it is hard for us and it has been really hard for us to be doing this alone without a partner. But perhaps in having to also do it independently also has given us the strength and the capabilities to keep on going and to hold on to our faith. Our faith is the very thing that is keeping us together.
right? It is the very thing that you don't see, but is is the, the very thing that you absolutely believe in. It's the it's the unforeseen, but you're walking by faith, and that this whole time you have been independent, male or female. I'm talking to male or female here how far you've come along in this journey and having to do things independently. Now you're stepping out and you're finding yourself to be communicating more, interacting more, um, and being open to date more. That's a whole di that's a whole new world that you're stepping into, right? You might have been very resistant on that at first, but now you're kind of like, I think it's time, right? I'm getting also, Virgo, that you're just tired and you're tired. You are so tired. It That should not be an excuse on why you should have a partner because you're tired, right? I feel the need to say that to other Virgos and I hope that you don't take that as a <laughs> offense. We are tired. Sometimes we think that, oh, I'm tired. You know, I, I should just hand this over to somebody. Perhaps there are some of you guys who have had a lot of offers. Okay, I'm talking to somebody here. And they have told you, I want to provide for you. I want to help you. I want to be that man in your life to provide for you. I want to be that woman to step in and help you but for a lot of our virgos our independence matters too i understand that a friend is in my life for a reason i'm getting that for a lot of us virgos we um are friends with a lot and we are only friends. <laughs> we are only friends, but you know, Virgo, that they are so in love with you and they love you dearly and they care about you and they want to be with you. But a Virgo is very much like a detective when it comes to this kind of stuff because it is... It means that Virgo is sharing their life, their mind, their heart, their faith, their mission, and everything that they do with somebody else. And they're thinking, and our Virgos are thinking, who is so and so willing, just as willing as I am, to be patient with me? So you, you have friends, Virgo. Right, you have friends and, and you have these people in your life for a reason. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. That is to be defined by you, Virgo, and where you are with your friends. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing friends with benefits to be careful with that. Think I am not here to harm. My intention is here to be myself. But in having to be friends with benefits also has circumstances that you know you have to deal with, right? Wow, this is becoming a very interesting read. I didn't think that it would go in this direction. I still have some notes here for you guys. Um, hydration. Ooh, this is important. Skin products. I have a friend. She has her own little skincare product business. And I'm going to put all of that stuff in the description box for you guys. 
It is called Skin by Doses de Flores. She has the most amazing ingredients in her products. I have been using it since day one, since she started with this business. Drinking water, you guys. Drinking enough water. We think that we're drinking enough water, but we're actually not. Okay, I have some cards here and I'm gonna take them. Um, to drink just keep drinking water, okay, is what I'm getting here. Hydration. Um, this season, you may find yourself to be more dry, like your skin super, super dry. Even your scalp as well can get super dry. Um, massaging the feet is of significance. Trying a stone massage, some stone massage, some um, the... The massage where you get the stones on your back, the, the heating stones. Um, also getting a pedicure and a manicure is also going to help you feel, um, coming back to feeling more at home. Um, using a mask to renew and revitalize your skin. Um, my friend also, Skin by Doses de Flores has and she has made her own mask. And like again, I, once again, I'm gonna put all of that stuff in the description box. She also has this simple four step skincare uh, routine instructions and all of her products you can see on here as well. And I'm gonna put all of that information there. If you are into natural skincare products, she has Essential oil, um, body butter, shea butter, green tea skin cell renewal powder. It's more of like um, exfoliant, okay? And then she has her clay mask as well. These are harmless products. When it comes to hydration, you guys, it's not just, if we think about being out in the sun all day, being at the beach, right? And you, you're thinking like, I'm drinking a lot of water because you're in the water, you're in the, in the ocean, but you're also not, you're, you may feel like it and think that you're drinking more water, but as soon as you drink water, you'll know you'll know how thirsty you are. That's how airy season has been for me. Ooh, Virgo. And I also have been drinking some coffee and coffee dehydrates you a little bit. So just to keep that in mind, Virgo, I'm getting that you are in a mission. You're on a mission to repairing and fixing. Okay, take that as it resonates. I feel a lot of that repairing and fixing in our relationships. 3333 three, three, three on the timestamp. Some cards I have here, the High Priestess, the emperor okay ooh the world you have some a lot of major arcanas here Virgo I have the page of wands okay the two of wands right and the eight and the five of swords Ooh, this has been this has been a lot on focusing excuse me focusing on your mission focusing on your work Virgo my dog is staring at me also would like to mention 1133 33 and number 11 is of significance for some of us okay while you have and might have been so focused on your mission, your purpose, your career, Virgo, this has been your priority, is your mission, your 
purpose, where you want to go with your work, right? I, I keep going back like your work and where you have been in your journey is so important that whomever is stepping into your life to share to share this with somebody else that is vital as well you are sharing yourself with somebody else and so while you may be finding yourself to be dating again and wanting to go out there and date again you're thinking to yourself there's so much of me that i need to express and I, I need someone to understand me. I have been choosing myself and I have been, as I have been choosing myself, as I have been choosing faith, as I have been choosing to grow and to surrender, I did not do any of this just to get less. I did not do any of this just to get something that isn't going to also give back to me. Have faith, have hope is what I'm getting here, Virgo. You don't have to give energy to the ones who aren't giving the same kind of energy and reciprocating the same kind of energy back to you. This is an equal give and take. And I feel like this is more of a healthy one moving forward from here. Allow yourself to have more faith and allow yourself to believe that you are able to have a more successful relationship. Not just a relationship. A romantic relationship but these are these are all of your relationships in your life right think about the relationship that you have removed yourself from who you were at that time and then who you are today with that relationship or who you are today without that relationship that is also important because we might have been holding on to relationships that was not serving us any good but we are just now realizing this, Virgo. Does that make sense? You know how some of us, we stay in a relationship for way too long and we don't realize that it's actually really bad for us. Actually, we know it is bad for us. We know that we're taking risks, but we, we're, we're still in it in hopes that there is hope, in hopes that there is potential, right? I'm getting that for some of us Virgos, we have been in a relationship that was not serving us any good. And we thought maybe it was serving us any good, but maybe it was only serving our shadow aspect. Does that make sense? It was only really serving our shadow because we were in our shadow. And now that you are growing and expanding and you might have outgrown some people here, Virgo. You might have outgrown some relationships and you are now finding yourself to be more in a healthy relationship, like healthier, happier, brighter relationships. And this is not just romantic. This is like your mom. You have bonded with your mom somehow. You've revitalized your relationship and now you're finding yourself to be more in, com to be more in comfort with her. Yeah, something like that. Or you have, coming back to what I was saying about repairing and fixing, right? You're so determined to um, not only are you determined to have and to be more in a healthier relationship because all of your relationships in the past have had some concerns, questions, right? They weren't what you thought it was. Coming, coming back to um, deception. You didn't actually think that it was the thing, the relationship that you thought it was. It was what you thought it was, but it actually wasn't. I don't know if I'm making any sense and I hope I am. Oh my gosh. But 
you are now finding yourself and wanting to be more in healthy relationships. At first, I thought you thought that you couldn't have that is what I'm getting. Do you see how the mind could be so critical mm, for a Virgo? It's um, it, you go into finding yourself sometimes like moments of uh, self-criticism and thinking to yourself well if if i was in a relationship then this with this and this with that and this with that and this with that that's like you are trapping yourself in every door that you see like oh here's a door and then you go into it and then you close the door behind you and you're trapped and then you go into a different door and you walk in and you're there and then the door is closed behind you and it's like you're getting trapped like you're trapping yourself right I'm getting that you can have options. <laughs> I'm getting you can have options. You don't you don't have you don't have to settle is what I'm getting. You can have options but you don't allow yourself to have options, Virgo. And I think what I mean by that is like you don't allow yourself to have options because it's exhausting. I don't want to have to date two people at the same time. I don't want to have to date, you know, three people. Like, I just need one and I just want one. And you want to believe that there is only one. And I truly, truly believe that there is only one. I truly, I sound crazy. Sure, why not? I truly believe that there is only one for somebody out there. For every single one of us, I truly, truly believe that there is only one for you. Handmade, okay? You're allowed to have options. You're allowed to have fun. You're allowed to also honor your body as you do that. You're allowed to honor your body at the same time you're having fun and, and you're having options and you're having a lot of options. And... I'm getting that while you may have some options, Virgo, just know that it is because you are lovely <laughs> and you are deeply, deeply attractive and, and loved. There's something about your body that I'm get, I was getting that also yesterday. There's something about your body. Um, something about your body that somebody is very admired about um someone is admiring your body someone cannot take their eyes off of your body i don't mean to sound creepy but there's something about your body that somebody admires so much okay but speaking of body to remind our virgos to honor the body and this is in terms of like where you are with your passions. Go for it. It is either you depressing your body and being in a place where you don't want to work at and being in a relationship that you think is going to help you, but it's not. And being in a friendship that you think is also going to provide for you, but it's not at all. Or you having to honor your body and giving it what it needs because you haven't had it for so long. Because you have been going at it independently and you're thinking to yourself, I can do everything on my own. And you are now finding yourself to be in a place where you're thinking to yourself, can I do this on my own? For the longest time, I have been in this lone wolf journey. And it has been amazing. But it also has been really wild and chaos and chaotic. Mind you that while it has been like that, 
it does not mean that my life is not also great. Because my life is. My life is. And it's the only life that I've ever known. It's the only life that I've ever, ever held on to and honored. I just don't know myself sharing it with somebody else. And that's a big jump. I'm getting like for some of our Virgos, that's a hell of a big jump. I've been on this journey on my own. I've been on this lone wolf journey. How am I able to find someone, somebody else I can share this with? You're starting to really question yourself. Am I really able to do this on my own? Or am I independently capable of doing this on my own? Or do I really want to find somebody that I can share my life with so I don't have to do this on my own? I feel like it's going to get there. We just have to believe and have faith in that. I bumped into this lady. We started to have a conversation. And she is a retired registered nurse. She was 81 years old and she started t telling me things like, you know, I have been independent my whole life. And she said, there is nothing wrong with being independent. I'm 81 years old. When I was younger, I traveled the world by myself. And the key word here is independent, right? The key word here is independence. She kept saying that. Um, don't listen to people who tells you that you can't do it on your own because you are more than capable of doing things on your own independently, which from experience, for myself, absolutely. I think that we all, every single body deserves to know their own mind in their own terms, in their own conditions, I truly, truly believe that. And from experience, it's great to know your own mind. It's great to be in introspection. It's great to look within yourself. It's great to look within what your body can do. But we don't do that enough because society does not let us self-soothe, self-care, self-love. And while some of our Virgos have been doing a lot of that inner work, you're thinking to yourself, I, you know, I think I can handle this because I have been doing this on my own. But when the opportunity comes, someone stepping in and admiring you and wanting to give to you, I'm not going to say don't take it, Virgo. I'm saying... You are loved and you are important and there might just be at least one person out there who deserves to know you wholeheartedly, deeply. Virgo, thank you for this reading. I always feel so good after doing a Virgo reading. And I feel like I haven't done a Virgo reading in a while. It feels like it. I've been, I've been in a lot of introspection. Um, I'm just one to self-reflect all the time. I'm just one to question things all the time for myself and for the world and for the people. I truly, truly believe that there is also someone out there for me. And I always pray and I always tell myself I only need one. <laughs> I truly, truly believe that there is someone out there for me. I do believe that I have already met him. But I, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Thank you, Virgo, for being here. I hope that this reading gave you some kind of information that you need, light. I hope that Aries season also 
will allow you to show yourself because you deserve to be seen. And all that you do and everything that you do, Virgo. And this is why I love you. And it's because it's not because I'm a Virgo, but I just like I know how much of understanding you are such an understanding person. And <laughs> you give off more than what you can. You give off more than what you sh how you should, what you should. You give off more than what you should. I do believe that there is a man out there who deserves that. And I truly believe there is also a woman who truly deserves that. I love you, Virgo. Thank you for being here and tuning in and showing so much love and support. All of the information will be in the description box. You already know. I'll see you guys in the next. Take care. I love you, Virgo. Always. It's my dog, Nala. <laughs> Bye.